<laughs> and being in Colorado, I mean, the whole thing has finally got to me. And I, I couldn't hack in Giants balls tonight. We'll do that tomorrow night. Uh, but overall, uh, I just want to review um, my feelings for the whole year have been that Eason has ability and can be a quarterback and one of the better quarterbacks in the National Football League. But he, the fact that he has to run over to the sidelines, the fact that that uh, he doesn't have that leadership. I mean, I think that's part of it is, is maybe the players aren't inspired by him. Maybe he doesn't have the confidence. I don't know what it is. What I I'm, think the problem is that you compare him with Grogan. When Grogan's in there, you see the way he responds to pressure, the way he takes charge, and the way everybody responds to him in that lineup. Anybody would be second to them, to that whole situation. The fact that Barry never gave Grogan a chance is the thing, the biggest mistake he made all year. He saw the way the team responded in Miami in the single biggest game of the year. And he saw the kids struggle early in the first quarter in Denver. He never considered making a move. Well, you know, Kim, this is really funny. Do do you know, you you remember that I had said on the edge of Grogan, you're going to get in there, you're going to throw a lot, second touchdown pass. Yeah, down in Miami. I hate to tell you what I said when Elon Jones was on. Uh, If we got to that, Al, listen to this. Well, my crack producer just told me that you were within one safety of the National Football League record, Ruan. So uh, you seem like a terrific guy, and we appreciate you spending some time with us. So I hope the Patriots beat you 6-4, to four, but you get two safeties so you can break the record. <laughs> well, I appreciate that. <laughs> Holy mackerel. You're on a roll, Dave. I mean, you imagine a safety. Uh, and, and, of course, I think a lot of people, uh, I want to get back to and spend so much time this year talking about statistics and what they all mean. And I wish Hoppy was here. That's one of the reasons why he's late. Ron Hobson is late because he knows I'm going to stick this right down his nose. He told United just to keep that plane in Denver yeah. an hour and a half longer. But I'm going to tell you right now that, that Tony Eason, if he is the quarterback of the future, has got to plow his own plays, and they've got to tougher him up and stop pampering him. You can't toughen him up. He is what he is. You know, you either accept him as he is or uh, you go for somebody else. Kevin, why do you How say old? that? The kid is 25 years old. You don't change the way you are. Oh, no. Grog, the problem with Grogan early in the career was he's too feisty. Then we get too excited. You try to do too many things. You don't change that. You channel it as he gets older. Eason is never going to be a fiery guy. So you have to accept that. If you don't want that kind of a quarterback, trade him and bring in somebody else. Bring in uh, Kelly or somebody. Well, see, I, but I can't agree with you, Kevin, for this reason. Um, that if you take a Tony uh, Eason and he is a competitor, and I think I, be- I believe he is a competitor, and I don't absolutely. Uh, and some of the calls are saying no guts. I, I really don't mean it in that sense that he doesn't have courage because I think he does. Obviously, he takes some hits and he. But, but I think that if, if he's the kind of competitor that if the players knew that he was in charge, and I think this whole thing of Grogan calling the plays where everybody thought was so smart, I never thought it was smart. Uh, Barry's got to take the responsibility as the head coach. And, and particularly, you need him on game day and to make those damn decisions. And if Tony Eason, win or lose, had run over there and said, no, I'm going for it, let's go for it, and they went for it, then the dumbest thing they could have done. Why? Because there's still over four minutes left. You're punting the ball. You've got over. You've got a full yard to go. It wasn't like they had two inches. It was a legitimate no. full yard to go. No, no, remember, remember, remember they were, Denver was ahead by three points. So right. Come back. Yeah. They were hit by three. They had to get a full yard on. And I don't think, I think you've got plenty of time. Your defense can stop them. The defense have done.